Well, good afternoon, everybody. We have a forging project. Number one, a clogger's knife, uh, otherwise known as a stock knife. And I'm going to forge one. And I'm going to use some reclaim steel. And I'll show you what I'm going to use. I'm pretty sure it'll work. Now I got these old sickle blades back a couple years ago. And the reason I want to use these is because they are very, very good steel. And they're very old. This one has a mark on it that says Kelly Works. I have not researched exactly where they come from. I'm sure they're USA made though. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove some of the steel with my grinder, with the cutting wheel. This, this will be the blade section in here. And I'm cutting it big until I get it to make where well, I know it's going to work. And this will be the, the, uh, the shaft and the handle end will curve over this way. But what I have to do, this hook right here has to be the opposite way. So I'm going to I'm going to do this today because I think I'm almost sure this is all one piece. But if it's not, when I start forging it, it will uh, it'll let me know whether it is or not. And if it's not, I'll move to Plan B, which I have a piece another piece of steel I can use. But I really want to use this because the steel is such good quality, and it's a very good way to repurpose an old tool now like I said I'm gonna do most of the forging tomorrow but today I'm gonna cut out some of this excess steel and I'm gonna heat this end in the forge and I'm gonna try to bend at least bend this straight maybe even go ahead and hook it around and see to make absolutely sure this is all one piece I think it is but I'm not I want to be absolutely sure before the fellow that's buying this is going to come over tomorrow and watch some of the forging, which I'm absolutely okay with that. I just want to make sure this is going to work before I do it. And if it don't, like I said, I have a plan B. Now I'm going to take the camera out to the forge, set it up, and I'm going to have to be very, very careful. I'm using the propane forge. I would much rather use the coal forge for this. But uh, I can't. No open flames. Uh, nothing like that. And I have enough nosy neighbors that will see the forge running and say something. So y'all know how that goes. So we're going to use the propane forge. And we'll get started on it. Uh, the wildfire is going on around here. It's still going on. At least they opened the interstate. As soon as they opened the interstate, a dump truck ran off the bridge into the river. Closed the interstate again. So, I've seen two or three reports on what happened. Uh, the driver's in bad shape. I hope he's okay. But um, folks around here and around the country, it's just one thing after another. So, enough about that. Let's get out to the forge and get to cutting and get to heating. Now, I've got some of the metal cut away. The next step, I'm going to take it inside on the grinder. And anywhere there's a little burr or a, a cut, undercut, I'm going to grind all this smooth before I do any forging. Because once you get it hot, if you got a void anywhere in there, that's a good spot to for it to break or come apart. So I'm going to take care of that, then I'll put it in the forge. Now once again, this is going to have to come out straight. I may have to take some more of this off. It'll come out straight and then it'll hook back around this way. And that's why I left so much room is because I'm not quite sure where it's going to wind up. And the blade is exaggerated large 
because I can always take it off. You can't put it back without and take it off. All right, let's go into the grinder. We'll work on it in there a little bit. Go go to the other grinder. Now right in here, I have a, a couple of spots I can't reach. So I'm gonna clamp it in the vise and put it on the file, hand file it, uh, before I take it back to the forge. And we'll see if we can straighten this out. And see what we got. One more little spot. And I think we'll be okay to go to the forge. There we go, and we'll go back out. Now it's really windy, really noisy out here. But uh, I have it in there, I'm gonna let it get good and hot. And then we'll go to beating on it. And I will show you some of it. I have to move pretty quickly, but uh, we'll see what we can do. I'll try to show you all I can.
pretty good and hot. Beat on some more. I can already tell I'm going to have to cut off some more material. But that's okay. I'm going to straighten out a little bit more and we'll see what it looks like in a minute. this off in here once it cools then I'll be able to make my hook without I could draw it all out and do it I think it'd be better just to go ahead and trim this off uh, flatten it again this seems to be holding together like it should it tells me it is one piece but there we go we'll let it cool cut this off and we'll work on some more forging on this tomorrow. Good morning. So far on the stock knife. All right, this is still pretty warm. Come out this morning got my taper back this way for the handle and this will be trimmed however it needs to be to get the handle on there it's going to be a wooden handle and I've got this straightened out that yesterday next thing I'm going to do is heat this and get ready to put the hook in the end but I'm going to wait the owner is coming this morning I'm going to wait and let him uh, let them watch me do that part of it. Not bad. Then I'll figure out how big the blade needs to be. And we can trim that down. Trim it down widthwise probably and lengthwise. Now forging this out, this piece here rolled over just perfect. And I'll leave it here. And then we'll roll this down. Forge it flat straighten it out and then hook it. Pretty fun little project so far. We'll look at it again here in a little bit. Oh, it's still hot. Alrighty, we're getting close. Uh, the owner came out and looked at it and I forged the hook in the end and we discussed a few things this is the handle end I forgot to turn the camera on when I forged this out and, um, what this does this will go into a, a hook eye an eye bolt on a work, work surface and come down and cut like that pretty cool and I'm in the process of getting it cleaned up and I will, uh, I'll do something. <laughs> Take it in, put it on the sander, make it all nice and pretty. And uh, he's going to come back this afternoon and, and pick it up. He'll do the handle himself. I think what we've decided, the best way to do it, is when I get this rounded good, cut some threads in here. We'll tap some threads on it. Or cut some threads. Uh, washer, wood, recess the bolt, put a bolt in there for the handle and sit this way. I'll show it to you when it gets all finished up and we've already discussed another one. But uh, we're going to do bigger, much bigger. Be back in a short. Now, final step on the clogging knife. Got the forge lid again. Now I'm not going to get it red hot. I'm just going to get it hot, good and warm, and 
quench it and quench oil and vegetable oil. And what that's going to do is going to help protect it because the blade has still got its temper because it never got hot right up in here. And give it a very nice finish and help protect it from rust. It's almost too big for my little porch. Uh oh, hang on. This wind is something else today, folks. I'm telling you, it's been this way for days. I'm going to take the big tongs. Maybe what in the wind? I think I'm about out of propane. But I have more. Alright, there it is. What do y'all think? Okay, I'm going to let it sit out here and drip off and cool a little bit. See if I can find somewhere to hang it up. And we'll see it one more time. Final sharp. And hang it right there. Or not. <laughs> well, here we go. All cleaned up. Sharp. Very, 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 very sharp. What y'all think? I like it. I think it came out nice. It'll be a useful tool. And looking forward to building the next one. Much, much bigger. Thank y'all for watching. Thank you for your support. And I'll see you next time.